Hello everybody, it's Alina and in today's video we are building this small apartment with a rooftop balcony that I built on top of an apartment building that I also made in this video. So we're like building the entire thing in, in this video, it's not just the little apartment I guess. But I only decorated one of the apartments and it is the one on the highest floor but this is a three story building and it has one apartment on each floor so three units in total obviously. and I I built it on a 20 by 15 lot in the world of Brightchester in The Sims 4, obviously. I don't really know why I built it in Brightchester. I never ever built here. Like, I think it's been probably about a year since I've done it. <laughs> and I feel like this build does not really fit into the world because the buildings that are around this lot are like pretty old-ish and like traditional British houses, I think. I don't really know. I've never been to Britain, but I think they are traditional British houses. <laughs> and that's just not what I'm building today. But the reason why I'm building this sort of like modern-ish contemporary build on this lot in this part of the world is because I initially wanted to do something a lot more traditional, but then I just like ended up doing something more like contemporary when I figured out what I actually wanted to do and when I had like played around with a lot of different styles and whatever, I just like realized that a more contemporary look was what I wanted to go for with this build, I guess, and I just didn't really change up the location of this build, so that's why we're building it in Brightchester. That was my shoulder, it just cracked, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, it's because I'm tacking with my hands so much, like my arms are literally like in the air all the time when I'm doing my voiceovers, which is weird and kind of stupid because like no one can see me. Why am I talking with my hands? I don't know. It's just like what I do, I guess. I really, I feel like I'm not this like expressive with my, my body when I talk normally, when I'm just having like regular conversations with people. But when I do voiceovers, it's a whole different story. <laughs> Anyway, though, why am I talking about this right now? I don't know. But yeah, as I said, there are three apartments in this building and the smallest one is the one that we are building today and decorating. And that is the one on the like highest floor. And the reason why it's like the smallest one is because it does have this rooftop balcony. So I had to like make room for that. And I think it's a very, very cute apartment. And what I wanted to accomplish with this build and what I really like wanted to do, what motivated me to build this like exact thing, I suppose, is that I really just like wanted to decorate a rooftop balcony so I didn't really care that it was the smallest apartment or anything like that I just like really wanted to build something with a rooftop apartment and I wanted to decorate that one and obviously it made the most sense for the rooftop apartment to like belong to the apartment on the highest floor right yeah in my opinion it does but yeah that is the one we are decorating today and it is only a studio apartment but it's not like a very small studio apartment it's just like a, a fair Really big one I would say it's not crammed by any means but it does only have one big room and then a, a bathroom like that's the only other room in this apartment that I'm decorating and then there's like the kitchen which is sort of like a little bit separated from the rest of the like living area but not really like it's technically in the same room there's just like a small wall in between the two and then it's sort of open the rest of the way <laughs> I don't know you'll see when we get to that part of the like video I suppose but I think it's very cute I decorated the apartment in a very like maybe boho-ish way something like that I, I don't know. I feel like the items sort of look like they are thrifted, at least some of the items in the apartment. Like I used some sort of modern objects that I was kind of like assuming were from somewhere such as like Ikea or another store like Ikea with just like cheap-ish furniture that looks kind of like contemporary. And then the rest of the items, like some of the smaller things like the artwork on the walls and like the pillows and the kitchen appliance, not really the kitchen appliances, but maybe like the like decorations around the house as well as in the, the kitchen are like thrifted. So I'm just like guessing that the person who lives in the apartment is kind of young, so they don't really have a lot of money to spend on like very nice like furniture and whatnot so that's why they like buy their big furniture like the couch the bed whatever else in ikea and then they thrift the other stuff because they are on a low budget and i feel like that's very very realistic i definitely am sort of like that i don't know i feel like most of my like you know big furniture items like my desk my bed my like i don't know dressers and whatnot they are from ikea and stores like ikea and then i have my decor which is just from like little cute stores and like thrift shops and whatnot and i think that's very cute and cozy and it just i, I don't know i like the vibe so i wanted to go for a vibe sort of like 
like that in this build and I feel like I sort of nailed it yeah <laughs> and then I decorated the rooftop apartment in a very like cute way in my opinion it is the last thing that we do in this video I think so we do have a while left until we like decorated that part of the build but I think it's very cute and it's very useful I really wanted to put a lot of items that you can actually use that aren't just decorative so I wanted your sims to be able to like actually hang out there and interact with the items i guess so i put a grill so you can you know make some meals out there and then i put a little dining table so your sim can sit there and, and eat the meals that they make yeah <laughs> and then there's a painting easel and some planter boxes so they can have a little garden out there i was sort of imagining that it was a little herb garden i think when i put in the plants that i added just to take the screenshots and the ones that will be on the build if you download it on the gallery they are i think most of them are flowers but obviously you can just change it out and make it like herb plants so you can have a little herb garden on your little rooftop apartment i feel like that's super cute and kind of realistic so i like the idea of that but i did not furnish the two other apartments the one on the second floor is the biggest one i think it has two bedrooms but like or maybe three i don't remember sorry <laughs> and then it has two bathrooms and it's just like the biggest one it is not huge by any means because this is a pretty small building and then the one on the first floor is not small but it's not super big either it does have two bedrooms but they are not big and then the like common area is not super like big either i guess and i didn't decorate them obviously as i said <laughs> but i did make a floor plan for them just because I know that a lot of people sort of struggle with doing floor plans so I, I was thinking that maybe if you guys wanted to download this build and then like furnish the two other apartments or one of them or something you can do that and you can either like use the floor plans that I have made or you can make up your own if you don't really like them or if you just want to, to like do another floor plan that's totally fine as well but yeah I just wanted to make them because I honestly quite enjoy making floor plans and I know that it's a thing people sometimes struggle with so it's just like a win-win situation i guess <laughs> yeah i don't know but i really enjoyed furnishing this build like normally i vastly prefer doing the exterior of my builds but today i really just enjoyed doing the interior of the little apartment i don't really know why i preferred doing that today but i did and that's why i don't normally really do apartment builds like i never decorate any of the pre-made apartments that we have in san my now and in evergreen harper just because i'm not really super interested in in that i don't really know why <laughs> and i have a really hard time like taking screenshots of that and like figuring out what i want to do for the thumbnail so i guess that's kind of like one of the things that holds me back from doing apartment belts in my videos and whatever but i did sort of do it today i just like made my own apartment building obviously and then i decorated a little apartment and i just i kind of prefer to do that i do sometimes do builds where i make like multiple houses or apartments on one lot and then i just decorate one of them or maybe two if that's something i want to do but yeah that's definitely something i do somewhat frequently i feel like it's been a while since i've done it but it's definitely not the first time i've done it on my my channel i was about to say on my video what <laughs> but yeah anyway i quite like this build it's not my favorite but i do like it i feel like the exterior is not super interesting i definitely think that i could have done something more with it to make it look more interesting but then again like now as i sit here and look back on it i don't know what i could have done <laughs> but i just i don't know i'm not in love with the exterior but i do really like the rooftop balcony and i really like the little apartment that i decorated so that's fine i guess because that is like what i wanted to do like i just wanted to build a little apartment that had a rooftop terrace i didn't really care too much about the rest of the build when i made it i suppose <laughs> or when i had the idea in my mind at least but i hope you guys like this build and i hope you will enjoy watching the rest of it come together of course but i went away for a few days to go see my grandparents and then i got back like three days ago i think by now and i had a really good trip it was very nice to you know go see them and just hang out at their house i feel like whenever i'm at their house i never really do anything like I, I hang out with my family obviously and i like go places around their area and i like hang out around there which i think is really nice like they live four hours away so i only really get to be in that place when i'm at my grandparents house which is not super often because they do live far away and i have my own little life and whatever so i can't really go see them all the time i go as often as i can but 
but you know I can't do it every day or whatever but yeah I really enjoy being at their house but it's just like it's so weird and I get kind of like bored there because I don't really have any of my things I don't have my pc because I have a desktop so I can't bring it with me and I don't have like any of my hobbies that I normally do all I really have is my phone and my ipad so I just like watch a bunch of shows and I watch like tiktok and just like go deep down into the internet and whatever and I just I get pretty bored which is unusual for me because I don't feel like I really experience boredom very often when I'm not at their house because I just have so many things that I can do and have to do at this house like I always have things that I have to do around the place like cleaning or I don't know like doing some cooking or preparation or for something you know like there's always something to do and then if I don't have to do something I can do some of my hobbies or I can like play some sims I can do a build that can take care of my plants like there are so many things for me to do so I never experience boredom when I'm at my house so it's like kind of unusual for me to experience it when I'm at their house or if I'm at like some other place where I don't have my my usual things and it's kind of weird <laughs> but it's kind of nice I feel like it's kind of healthy sometimes to just be away from your normal things and just sort of be I don't know alone with your thoughts and just like not have the things that you normally have I guess to just experience that for a little bit I don't really know but I had a really good time and I had fun hanging out with my grandparents and I had fun just like being in their town and I brought my dog because I always do and she loves it so much she loves to like go away and see my grandparents too and I know she got like so excited when we left that morning because it was so obvious that she knew exactly where we were going because normally when like I leave with her and it's just me going with her we go to my grandparents house because we do it like three to four times a year just her and I so she knew exactly what we were we're gonna do and it was just so fun and so cute that she got so excited about it and she just loves hanging out at their house as well and she loves it their little backyard it's very cute and like so pretty and I was talking to my grandparents about like how pretty I thought the the backyard was because they have a lot of flowers and a lot of plants and they obviously care a lot about the way that it looks they just really want their backyard to look nice with all the flowers and whatnot and I said that it looked so cute and they were just like oh no it's not cute it's not like pretty and whatever because like all of the flowers have died and like not all of them had died just like some of them they still have had like quite a lot of flowers that were blooming and whatnot and but I don't know they were just like so not happy with it which just like got me thinking that when you are so used to like seeing one thing you get like very blindsided about it in a way like you just can't really see the beauty of it because I thought it was so beautiful and so pretty and I really liked what like how it was looking and whatnot but they were not happy with it because it was not as pretty as it has been before and I feel like that's just such a typical thing for humans and I feel like with my room like I am always so critical of it because I care a lot about my like bedroom and the way that it looks and like the interior style and I have a lot of plants in my house and just like around <laughs> you know the entire place and I really care about the way that they are doing and the way that they are looking and whatnot and when they are not like in their tip-top shape and they aren't really looking super healthy like sometimes some of them go and get diseases and whatnot which makes me so sad it breaks my heart because I just care so much about them and I get like very self-conscious about it because I want my room to look pretty and I want my plants to be doing good and I get like very sad about it and then like other people who aren't in here all the time and aren't like super used to just looking at my plants all the time and don't take care of them 24 7 they look at the plants and are like wow that's so pretty even when they aren't doing good at all <laughs> so that just like I don't know it puts things into perspective and I really like the idea of that because you can be so like self-critical of something that you've made or just also just your appearance and whatnot but people don't see what you see they aren't as critical of that and I just I don't know I feel like that's a good thing to keep in mind I guess <laughs> it's just like one of those things that calm me down in a way and they make me put things into perspective I suppose and it reminds me of like people on Instagram like on their Instagram story or if they are recording a TikTok and they don't look as pretty by their standards as they normally do and they're like oh my god I'm so sorry I look awful right now but I just like want to talk about this and I'm like babe you look the exact same as you normally do and by that I don't mean that you look awful normally or you look awful now I just mean that like literally no one can see a difference between what you look like now 
on what you normally look like like it's it's the exact same like maybe you have a little zit right there and some dark circles under your eyes and whatnot and your hair is not super like it done and whatever right now but you look the exact same and it's really not something to be insecure about <laughs> and you don't have to apologize for it when you post videos and whatever if you're not looking your absolute best by your standards so it's just like i don't know it's the thing that makes me feel good because it just puts into perspective how much i care about things like my appearance and things like my like bedroom and my plants and how they're doing and whatever compared to how much other people care like no one really cares about others you know like we care about ourselves and the way that we look but not the way that other people look right and that's just a thing that i like to keep in mind <laughs> yeah i don't know i like that but on the topic of like plants and whatever i love my plants so extremely much and i care for them so deeply and it just it makes me so sad when one of them dies or they get diseases and whatnot and it just it's so annoying because literally no matter how well you care for your plants it's just inevitable that sometimes some of them like get something that's wrong with them and they just don't survive that and it's just not worth it to keep them around because they just aren't looking good and they're not good doing good and whatever and it's i don't know it just makes me so sad so i really love my plants but also they break my heart <laughs> and it's just so stupid because it's just like such a silly little thing and it's not really a thing that matters in the great scheme of things and it's just like a thing that only I care about but I care about them so deeply and I like love all of them individually so much and I just don't want to lose them I mean I definitely pick favorites I'm not gonna lie like I'm sorry I know you're not supposed to pick favorites between your children and whatever but I do that I definitely do and I have a lot of them that I care a lot more about than the others <laughs> which is mean of me but that's just how I feel and a few months ago a plant that I have had for I think about three years or something it got sick it got infested by spider mites in a if you have plants and you have a lot of them and whatever like you know how annoying those stupid little things are so i was very very upset about that because this is one of the plants that i care about the absolute most because i just man i just have such a deep connection to it because it's the plant that basically got me into owning plants it's the one that made me fall in love with it so i just care about it so much and i was so sad about it because it's my hibiscus flower and i have quite a lot of them but this is my my favorite one sorry don't tell the rest of them that i said that but yeah i really care about it so much and i was so sad that it was sick and for a few months like in the beginning of this year i think it got sick around like february and then all up until like two weeks ago by now it had not gotten any flowers at all because it was just like not doing good like it was not healthy enough to keep them like coming i guess and it, sometimes it would get some little flower buds but they would fall off before like they got like big enough for the flower to bloom and whatever and it just made me so sad because it like gave me hope that the plant was doing good so many times like i think it got maybe around five or something flower buds which is kind of a lot because it's not like a huge plant and it got all of these flower buds but they all fell off because the plant was not strong enough and healthy enough to keep them like going i guess long enough for them to flower and that just broke my hard but then two weeks ago it finally got its first flower that it had had for i think like what five months or no like four months or something something like that i don't know it's just been a long time since i had seen a flower from it and it just made me so happy and it just it's kind of stupid that it made me that happy because it's just a plant i know that but it's just i don't know it means so much to me <laughs> and it happened on a very special day as well so it's just like a sign you know it meant a lot to me i care far too much about I was about to say inanimate objects but obviously a plant is not you know not alive it is alive so but i just i care too much about things that aren't actual like beings like animals or humans i don't know they just break my heart they have too much control over my mood and how i feel and whatnot <laughs> it's stupid but yeah have a plants they said it'll be fun they said no i'm just kidding i do love them a lot and i really love to take care of them and it's just it's so exciting when a new leaf unfurls and whatnot it's just so exciting to like follow their growth and to like track that it's it's the best i love it so much have plants it's it is fun it is actually fun <laughs> yeah anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i feel like i went out on some weird rants but that's just what i wanted to do today so i hope you are not you know this is i don't know uninterested in that i guess but yeah if you did enjoy this video please do give it a little thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and you enjoy my content i would really appreciate it but you know you do not have to but besides all of that i hope you're having an amazing amazing day and then i cannot wait to see you all in my next video that i will be posting in just a few days so bye everybody